How's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim here. Welcome back to my next video. Well today is a gun video. I have guns. I like guns. I'm not uh, afraid of them. I shoot them at the range and uh, I've, uh, I've, owned, I've owned guns for probably 20 years and uh, I have mostly just some handguns. I don't have any long guns but I thought I'd share with you guys which ones I have today. I put a video up a long time ago on my channel about it, but I'm going to do another one. So let's begin. All my guns are always loaded. Let me uh, put the camera down here so you can see on the table, okay? Now, let me get my uh, C-Rights on here. You guys know what my C-Rights are. This gun right here is in a Remora holster. Notice how there's no uh, belt loop strap or anything like that. Um, for your belt. This is a tacky type material that when you stick it inside your waistband, it goes inside your waistband and when you stick it inside your waistband, it kind of just sticks to your skin. Um, I usually put this one in the small of my back and this is my everyday carry uh, weapon because it is a 9mm Ruger in a single stack configuration, meaning the bullets in the magazine in the magazine let me clear this weapon for you guys okay you see there's nothing in the magazine there's nothing in the in the gun at all so we'll clear this weapon and fire in a safe direction Okay, so now we have a clear weapon. So this one here, I'll pull this uh, camera a little closer so I can show you guys. This one, maybe you can see me a little better too. <clears throat> I have a, a, a little extra grip on here. It's called a Hogue grip. And as you can see the light better there, it's a tacky grip. So this gives you a really good purchase on the weapon. And uh, single stack means that it doesn't have two, two bullets side by side, which would make this part a lot wider. And so being that it's thinner, uh, it makes it easy for carry, for concealment. Uh, you don't get as many bullets as you would uh, in a double stack uh, configuration, but it holds seven in here. And you can also carry one in the chamber should you decide to do that. I don't. I, um, I just carry the, uh, the gun with the magazine. If I were to be uh, somewhere where I felt, you know, danger, you never know when danger is going to happen, but I felt the area was suspect, I might want to go ahead and rack one into the, into the chamber in that way um, and then, you know, reholster it. And, and that way all I have to do is, is pull the trigger. Now this is the Ruger LC9S Pro. Pro for professional. Pro meaning the LC9S that they made was a weapon that had a safety. I got my little mic on today. This had a, they had a safety, but most uh, gun guys, they really don't like safeties. Uh, there is a safety in the trigger, like you have to depress this little thing right there. Let me show you. You gotta depress that because otherwise the trigger won't. So if you call that a safety, you know, that's what you got. And then of course not having one of the chambers is safety too. But the reason guys don't like safeties is in an emergency and they just want to rack the slide or if they've already got one chambered, they just want to pull and shoot. They don't need to, fumble around. Well, where's that safety at? Uh, let me, um, let me, this is just the, uh, the rack lock slide here. Um, they don't want to have to be worrying about that. So um, that's what that is. It's the same way with a Glock. Okay, so this is my Ruger um, LC9S. And it's the Pro because it's the professional model. 
Um, this weapon, uh, it's, it's in, made in Prescott, Arizona. This actually, let me tell you a little story about my guns, if I can brag a little bit. My guns, I have some Glocks I'm going to show you here, and uh, this Ruger. This was rated, guys, that first little video clip there ended, so I'm picking up where I was saying. This was rated um, almost the perfect carry weapon because it's thin, it's a Ruger, very reliable, and it's 9mm. Most guns around this size are a, a smaller um, you know, bullet. They're 22, 380, a 25, a BB gun. <laughs> but this is a 9mm weapon. And um, the, uh, the magazine has a flat bottom. So when it's in there, it's just flat. But I have my second magazine has a pinky grip on here. I don't know if I have it in the bag here. I'll look for it. And that gives it more of a something to grab on there because it's a very small gun. All right, so that's enough about the Ruger. Let me put this one aside with the Remora holster. And uh, let's go to the gun bag here. See what I got. See, I'll show you what I got down here, guys. This is what I keep my, uh, my weapons in. All right, this is a raw video. No editing. So which one am I going to pull out of here and show you guys next? Oh, here's one. I'll put this back down on the floor. I'll pull them out one at a time. Try not to make the video too long. Another Remora holster. Yes. The tacky, sticky Remora. So this is that pinky uh, bottom part of the magazine that the Ruger clip also has. Um, my extra one. And uh, this is a Glock, okay? This weapon is loaded, so we'll take it out and clear it for you guys. This is the Glock 26. Nine millimeter. Let's make sure the weapon is clear. There's nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. Okay, we'll go ahead and clear it. Fire it off in a safe position. And now we have a clear weapon. You can see they all look really short without the magazine in. Uh, but this little pinky extension on here, you know, gives it a nice little for the purchase. You know, they call that a purchase when you, when you grab the gun. Now, I'm left-handed, but the great thing about Glocks is they're ambidextrous. What does that mean? Is there a left and right-handed gun? Well, there is. Because if I want to release my mag it's over here I can I can move this mag release from here to here it goes on either side and um, I've also added I'll show you guys some additional sights these are um, hope it'll focus there for you these are tritium I can't say the word tritium I think it's pronounced they're glow in the dark and this one up here too. And I put these on all of my Glocks. And then of course, there you go, the familiar Hogue, the Hogue grip again. I bought them for all my weapons. Give you a little fatter, fatter purchase there and another Remora holster. I have, this is the Glock 26. It's called the Baby Glock, it's nine millimeter. And this again, remember I told you guys I buy the most select weapons. Of all of Glocks, anyone will tell you, I'm sure I wouldn't get any argument from the comments out there. This is, if you're going to own some Glocks, this is definitely one of the models that you want because it was, before they came out with a 43, uh, which is a single stack, smaller 9mm they make today. They didn't make them then when I bought this. Um, this was the one to carry. It was known as the little brick. But you can see, guys, see how this magazine has got it's staggered. There's, um, there's two bullets. So this is a much fatter magazine, I'll show you, than the Ruger. See? So 
that's why this became right here <clears throat> you know this is a thicker gun here and this is thinner so anyway <clears throat> you get the idea now let me show you what else I got back in my remora I'll go ahead and throw this Ruger back in her remora so we got we got two guns here <clears throat> magazines are separate what else we got I got some beautiful um, holsters too look at this guys look at this leather look at this workmanship um, this is a let me get my C rights on I, I can't see anything you guys this is a um, DeSantis it's a DeSantis holster and their workmanship is amazing let me just tell you briefly what this does it's got a little screw here that you can actually tighten to you know so the gun you know is a little more snug in there but it has a, a trigger uh, release right there a thumb thumb break they call it a thumb break so when you're carrying you know it's not gonna fall out or come up but it fits perfectly now this is a 357 revolver and I did change the 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 grip to one of those Hogue grips and this is a um, this is a whole different grip here than the one that came with it it's a very small much smaller no no finger grips here uh, plastic uh, but this is a very powerful gun so um, shooting it you know you want it has a lot of recoil now before I deholster it let me uh, tell you about these two things here so this is obviously your belt goes through right and you can carry this you know on your side with your belt and if you run your belt through here and here the gun is kind of straight up and down if you run the belt through here and here as you can see if it's right there the gun is more canted we call that a cant it's canted so if you want to you know draw this way versus like this so you have that option too with this DeSantis holster this is a very heavy gun so to carry it inside the waistband or as a concealed weapon it's so heavy that the best way I found carrying this one uh, and I'm in Florida so you have to have it concealed you can't be open carry but to distribute the weight the easiest way I found is to through is th on a belt if it's on your waist on a belt it it's it's on there you're not carrying it in your pocket or inside your pants was gonna fall down in there it just feels it seems a lot lighter it distributes the weight a lot better so that's why I have this holster here now let me take this gun out and show you guys I got a video I made not too long ago of this weapon it's a 357 it's a beautiful weapon it's a cannon and um, it's loaded and um, let me show you guys I'm left-handed so I'm trying to this right here pushes the uh, oh I got a call coming in I got to end this <laughs> that didn't work out very well I had a call coming in and I needed to take that call I really did uh, but when I stopped the recording it I lost the call maybe they'll call back I don't know probably won't anyway I was saying that you take the bullets out you can push this little rod up I don't want to shove them all on the floor on the table here make a big mess so I'll do it this way Maybe they just fall out of there and this is now a unloaded weapon now let me show you let me put this down for a second what these bullets look like these are big boys these are big long hollow point it's a lot of gunpowder in there now the advantage of a um, um, 357 
is you can shoot a bullet that's smaller and less expensive to buy to go to the range with uh, a 38 bullet. And there's a lot less recoil too when you shoot it. So I've shot some 38s through it, but I bought it as a 357. So I, uh, I like to shoot the 357s at the range and feel the power. And they have different uh, length barrels. Uh, this is a snub nose. It's a, uh, is it one and a half inch, I think, maybe? Anyway, it's a shorty. I, I, I wanted to get it for concealment, and the longer one would be just a big gun, you know. All my guns I'm trying to make, you know, for carry. So this is, this thing will out last me and you together. This will, this will be around 100 years. This is a beautiful gun. Um, Magnum 357 Ruger. It's the SP-101. Extremely popular model. Once again, you know, I buy the, uh, the popular ones. I, I watched a, a bunch of YouTube videos. There's a guy on there that can shoot this from very far away and hit these lead targets. They shoot these lead shields or whatever you want to call them down, down range. He's amazing. Now, I'm not that accurate with guns in, in my shooting because, you know, I'm half blind <laughs> uh, and the sights are extremely small. But in self-defense, you're looking to be within, you know, 20 yards. If someone's 100 yards from you, they're no threat to you. So that wouldn't be anything you'd want to, you know, think about using a gun for self-defense. But if someone's within 10, 20 yards of you and they're charging and you feel fearful of your life, well, that's, you're not going to miss. I mean, you can pretty much hit something from 20 yards, hopefully. So anyway, that's my 357 Ruger SP-101 with the Hogue grip. Fantastic weapon. A lot of guys, you see, they sling them, you know, and sling the barrel back in. I've read, do not do that, that the actual way to do it is not even to push it from the barrel. You have this, you have this part right here that they want you to place it in there. So I want to do the right thing and take good care of it. And uh, there's my 357 Snubby. Let's put it back in the DeSantis holster. Look at that. It fits right in there so nice. Let me show you. Put it right in there. And then let's put the thumb brake on. All right. So now we got this baby. We've got the, um, which one is this? This is the Ruger LC9S Pro, the Ruger 357 Revolver, and then the Glock 26, the little brick, the baby Glock. Okay. It's a fine weapon here. They're all fine. Now, let's see what else we got in the gun bag. Going deep. I got a lot of holsters in here. Look at this. This is a Glock full size, referred to as a duty weapon. In other words, I don't know what percentage it is. It's a very high percentage of law enforcement in our country, uh, in all branches, FBI, sheriff, local police, they carry this weapon. Uh, it's a full-size Glock 17. Again, it's a DeSantis holster. Okay, fits it perfectly. I have another holster for it too. Uh, it's got the thumb brake. Okay, it's loaded. It's a double stack. It holds, the reason it's a duty weapon uh, for law enforcement is because it's a very high capacity um, amount of bullets, 17 shots. Okay, let's unload her. There's my mag release here. See here? I got the hollow points in there for self-defense. Um, the reason that you use, let me first clear the weapon. Nothing in the Magazine holder, nothing in the chamber, clear weapon, 
in a safe direction. Okay. And I've got the hoe grip. I bought these hoe grips and I put them on uh, all the guns. They're real sticky, tacky, grippy, nice guns. Now this, these have, I forgot to tell you, that little safety uh, mechanism where you have to press this part in the middle uh, before you can depress the trigger. But none of these guns have a manual safety. It's just if you chamber one, squeeze the trigger, it shoots. There is no fumbling around for some, you know, safety. So this has also got those sights, the glow in the dark. Look at that green one down here at the end. At night, and you don't even have to charge them. They stay lit like that. And uh, so that's really great. This one also has a rack. I have a, um, I don't know if I have it in here. I have a light. Um, hang on, guys. Um, I'll look for it in a second. But this is the Glock 17. And this is a very El Cheapo holster that goes on your belt, but it fits all Glocks. See there? Covers the trigger guard, so you can't pull the trigger. And it goes on your belt. And this is a this is really nice. I really like this. They're very inexpensive. It's a Glock, ambidextrous. So you got left, right, doesn't matter. Just put your belt through there, and you're good to go. Um, I was going to show you. Hey, if I can find it in here, hang on. Um, this is another little. Um, which gun does it fit? This is a holster I have. Let me see. Yeah, it fits the Glock. It's a little, um, it's only got one belt loop. It's been so long since I've used it, I don't even know how, <laughs> you know, you put it on. It doesn't have the other belt loop over here. I think it's a, just goes in one belt loop. So uh, that's another holster. Hang on, I got more in here. Here's another, uh, this is for my, this is for my um, LC9S Pro. These are all unloaded. Remember the one that I carry with the Remora holster that's real sticky and tacky? Look at this. This is another DeSantis. Now I'm gonna tell you a story about this one. If I get it in here and put the thumb, the thumb lock on there. Look at that, that is so nice. You put this on your belt and your shirt over is so light. This is, I'm telling you, it's the perfect, near perfect carry um, uh, weapon. It really is. This is so nice. Nine millimeters. Now, I'm left-handed. So this is a left-handed holster. Um, this one, for the, uh, for the Glock, the big Glock 17 Duty, is a right-handed holster. I could not find a, um, it's right-handed. I could not find a left-handed holster and I fell in love with these DeSantis uh, holsters. This one for my Ruger. It's also right-handed. I only have one left-handed holster and that's for the LC9S Pro, the Ruger. Um, and this is the first one I bought. It's got this little fake weave thing here. There's no really holes or anything. It's just a, a texture. Um, I fell in love with them, so I wanted more of them, but I couldn't find any more left-handed. Left-handed is hard because, you know, I'm odd because I'm left-handed. Most people are right-handed. So, but I'm kind of ambidextrous. So I went ahead and got, because I like these holsters, I went ahead and got two right-handed DeSantis holsters uh, for the Glock 17 and the Ruger uh, 357 Magnum. And uh, what else we got in here? This is a, uh, a nice holster. This is something you wear around your waist, down inside your pants. This goes in front of your crotch. It's a Velcro. And this just goes around you and inside your waistband, like right in front, right in front of uh, your marbles. And then um, I see what I can place in there. I think the uh, the LC9 and also the, the baby Glock goes in there. Let me 
Where is the, uh, the LC9? Hang on. So here's the LC9. This is a, a smart carry, they call it. And um, they're made in Largo, Florida. And so is, um, so is Remora. Remora holsters are made in the Keys as well. So I'm here in Florida, so. Anyway, let's put this in there. This is, um, as you can see, it covers the, uh, the trigger guard. And uh, you just put this around your waist. Let me demonstrate for you guys. This goes like this. And I would I would tuck this down in inside my shorts and then put my shirt, you know, over. And then I would just you know, you just pull it out like that. And it's very comfortable. But see, I, I bought this holster because here in Florida, you have to conceal. And as you can see what I'm wearing, oops, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> as you can see with what I'm wearing, it's always hot here. So to carry them in big jacket pockets and, and other ways, we can't wear clothes here. It's too hot. So you have to find ways of putting these weapons in some kind of holster that you can carry them where you won't want to leave it at home or in your car that you'll actually carry. So, you know, something like this, it just sticks in the back of your gym shorts and it sticks there, it's tacky, and you throw your shirt over. These are, the, these are extremely comfortable. I, I have two of these, maybe more. Let's see what else I got in here, guys. Oh, uh, I did buy, <laughs> this is an ankle holster. Look, this goes around your ankle. Um, the gun goes in. I think it's for the 26. Let me just uh, make sure. It's got a thumb brake on it. Yeah, look at that. You put this uh, in your pants leg over it. So if you're in a if you're in a climate where you can wear some pants, I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. I bought this when I lived there. This is a, a Galco. Very famous brand. This is super soft neoprene. And of course, this around your ankle. You know, and of course you'll have a sock on. It's very comfortable. You know, you feel like you're wearing a one of those leg weights. <laughs> but uh, for concealment, Let's say you want to carry two weapons. You can have one on your leg and then one in your, in your pants, right? I'm not Rambo, guys. I just like guns. Now, um, this is a, um, a duty belt. It's important when you do use these holsters that the belt runs through that you don't have some flimsy, you know, this is, this, look at the webbing on this. This is, this is a duty belt. So when you're, wearing this in your uh, jeans or whatever pants you're wearing, this will hold that holster and it won't be all flimsy. So when you're using these kind of holsters, it's really important, of course, to have a, a, a good quality uh, belt for a gun holster. Okay. Uh, what else do I got in here? Oh, I have a, an ammo. This is a Glock ammo so you carry this on your belt on the other side with your gun and you have an extra magazine you can you can take out and you know if you had to use all the bullets you have in one in your gun then you've got another magazine you can pull out and you're ready to go with another full load of bullets this is a cool little um where's that little uh, i think it holds a couple different guns let me even see if it holds this baby glock the 26. well here's the ruger Okay, this just is so nice. You can just clip this right on your belt and you can clip it inside your waistband and this will be on the outside of your belt or you can just clip this right on the side of your pants and cut your, put your shirt over it. Just put that right inside your, uh, your pants there and look at that. You're talking about minimalist and lightweight. The trigger's completely guarded. Again, guys, I, I do a lot of research. Whatever I buy is nice. 
You know, I got these. I got this this Glock one here. Super slim and nice. What else I got? This is actually, this is funny. Uh, let me get the Glock out. This holster I forgot I even had. This thing is supposed to be, what's it called? It's called the, uh, the Versa Carry. This is supposed to be the most minimalist holster made. This goes in the barrel of the gun. Like that. And, um, well, <laughs> I put it on wrong, guys. Here we go. You want to cover the trigger guard. You want to have, you know, the trigger guarded. So you stick this inside your waistband. This is on the outside of your belt. All this would be would be inside and this would be out and then but you can't you can't get to the trigger you can't get to the trigger because see you never want to be able to get to your trigger so anyway this is called the Versa carry it was kind of a whim when I bought this uh, I don't think I ever carried it. What else I got? Bag's still heavy because I got some ammo in here. Got my... Um, glasses for shooting. Oh, this is the coolest holster of all. Forgot I had it. I have two of them. I knew it, guys. A Remora Mag. A Remora Mag holder. Look at that. Stick this in your waistband. Remember, this is the sticky one? Hold your mags. Okay. But I've got something I want to show you guys. You're not going to believe it. Where is it? Um, thought I had two. I better still have it somewhere. Let me show you. This... You might ask is what the heck right this is made of kydex this goes on the glock or does it go on my ruger no hang on forget which gun it goes on <laughs> hang on i didn't want to force it but i guess it is for the uh for the glock here Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nothing can get to the trigger. Did you see how that went on? That's how it's removed. Let me, let me demonstrate one more time. This is called, oh, what do they call this? Forget. I'll think of it in a second. You put it on. It's, it's perfect. It fits. It's not coming off. See? What you do is you actually put this through your belt loop. You put this through a belt loop and then through that, you know, so, so it's hanging on your belt loop, right? Then this, and then this is on your belt loop. So here you, here you go. What do you, what do you do with that? You stick it in your waistband like um, like you're in your kidney area here. And when you pull it, it's supposed to be a minimalist holster. Again, I, I went for these minimalist deals. It's a minimalist holster that you pull out and this catches your belt loop. You want to make sure you got good, strong belt loops. And when you pull it out, you don't pull it straight up. You pull it out to shoot and watch. I mean, I hope I don't hit my microphone here. But anyway, if you pull it out, you this this will grab your waist, and there you're ready to go. So you kind of give it a little bit of like this. But it's just to be like sticking a gun without worrying about it going off because you got the trigger guarded. It's just like sticking a gun 
uh, you know, kidney carry. They got a they got a name for that. Um, some kind of gangster terminology where guys just you know in the movie they just put one right here their their gun you know inside their waistband with nothing you know this is a little safer but uh, again no bulk no holster nothing inside your waistband just the gun and so it's called a uh, oh I wish I could think of the name of it anyway I've got another one that goes actually for the uh, for the Ruger. Must be in the bag there somewhere. But other than that, guys, that's it. I've got a whole bunch of magazines. Um, one more tip I'll tell you is this is the small baby Glock, right? It takes the short, the short little uh, magazine there. But you can put with a Glock, the big Glock 17, that duty one I showed you, you could put their big magazine in a small Glock. So like, let's say you just want to carry it and you've got the one that only comes to here and then you had to reload or you're at the range and you wanted to, you know, not only have 10 bullets, this only holds 10. You could throw this one in here that holds 17 and use that. See? Take it back out. It holds. All Glocks will hold. You couldn't put the short one in. You couldn't put the short um, magazine in the big Glock because obviously it won't, you know, but you can put the long magazines in the short Glock. So you could have a whole bunch of these magazines that hold 17, you know, in one of these mag cases right here that you're carrying, you know, and one of these right here, this other Glock mag case holder. Uh, see, that's got the 10. It's got the short one in there. Now look, here's the one that holds 17. It also fits in there. And you can have that one you carry on the side, this one in the gun, so it fits it, you know, show you. Perfectly. Let me take it out. How about that, guys? All right, you got the whole tour. I got uh, four guns, um, two Glocks, Two Rugers, all nine millimeter except the Ruger uh, revolver that is a, um, um, what, what is it again? I've lost my train of thought. Um, 357 Magnum. <laughs> it also shoots 38. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I got to put all these bullets and guns back before uh, the girlfriend comes home and thinks that there's something going on here. All right. Thanks for viewing. Subscribe.